everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. Today we are really excited because we are launching 10 brand new prints on our Minerva exclusive Viscose Shelly fabric. So these are 10 prints you've never seen before, uh, brand new to the collection, and we've printed them all on our ever popular Minerva, um, Viscose Shelly base cloth. So the Viscose Shelly itself is 100% viscose, it's soft and drapey, has a beautiful weight, so uh, in the majority of prints it's not see-through at all, in the lighter coloured background ones maybe just a, a touch see-through, um, and yeah it's perfect for making a whole variety of different base cloths. Uh, it's just yeah it's the most fabulous quality viscose and yeah we're really excited to have some new prints. So what I've got today are the 10 prints to be able to show you um, and I've also picked a pattern to team with each one just to give you lots of ideas on the sorts of things you can make with viscose shelly fabric. Like I say it's uh, you know it's such a versatile fabric pretty much any pattern that requires a light to medium weight woven uh, with some drape um, you know you're probably going to be it's probably going to be a good choice for viscose shelly. Um, and yeah it's just it's a wonderful fabric for summer as well you know with it being 100% viscose it's it's cool and breathable to wear it feels gorgeous against your skin so you know it's one of those fabrics you can wear all year round but it is lovely to wear in summer so the first print we've got so this one is called floral harmony and I've just realized I was holding it upside down there so that this is the correct way up and as you can see it's quite a small scale and um, quite like a ditzy sort of floral design really really lovely um, it has a dark navy blue background and then all those beautiful colors in there it's just yeah it's gorgeous for summer with all those lovely colors but I think as well to be able to what you know you could wear that print all throughout the year and it certainly wouldn't need, it does have a directional print um, but it certainly wouldn't need pattern matching because you know it's such an all over quite small scale design. Now the pattern I've teamed uh, with this one is the Calvin wrap dress and top with true bias. Now really any of the patterns I've picked could really team with any of the, of the, the prints today um, but I do think this one would be really lovely in that small sort of ditzy scale floral print. Um, yeah for either the wrap top or the wrap dress I think that would be really lovely. We'll insert some images of the pattern fronts and the line drawings where we have them on, on uh, each of the patterns I mentioned today so you can see the details you know as I'm talking about them but yeah really gorgeous pattern for spring and summer and perfect for making a viscose shall it the next uh, fabric we've got so this one is confetti cascade i love the color of this one it's a deep petroly uh, turquoise sort of teal background really really rich and saturated and then he has these like dashes of, of like sort of sketch like what colors that look like they've been drawn on with a crayon really really beautiful I love the colour palette I think that hint of yellow that just you know comes out every so often just really lifts the whole print and yeah I, and this is definitely I have some at home already waiting to be sewn I think it's gorgeous um, now the pattern I've chosen for this one is um, a pattern from Indie Pattern Brand Emporia Sewing Patterns and it's actually their Alice trousers. So these are um, like a pair of loose fitting trousers that have cutaway pockets and elasticated waist so they're going to be really nice and comfortable to wear like an everyday pair of trousers to wear when it's hot and sunny uh, and they have elasticated ankles as well so they come in at the ankle. Um, yeah, so perfect for spring and summer wear, really comfy trousers, um, and yeah, I think in a fabric like this that drapes really beautifully, they're going to hang really well, and um, you know they're going to they're going to look more like sort of sophisticated, and yeah, they'll just they'll just work really well in a trouser like that for summer. The next print we've got, this oh, is another one of my favourites. There's so many gorgeous ones today. This one is called Falling Blossom, and I just think this is oh, it's absolutely gorgeous I love everything about this print I, I fell in love with it the instant we uh, we we saw this print and uh, with the designer and I could just imagine it on fabric straight away so it's like I said we've called this falling blossom now some of us see see you know um, sort of flower petals in this and others of us see um, like sort of ink that's been dropped on water and how that like disperses on water. It's oh, it's it's absolutely stunning. Now this background colour is like um I would describe it as like an Air Force bluey kind of grey colour. It's quite an unusual colour really to describe. And then all these beautiful 
um, very subtle sophisticated colours that make up that print and again you wouldn't need to even think about pattern matching with this one because it's such an all over abstract design Oh, it's just stunning that print and the pattern I've paired with that one is a pattern from Liesl & Co, another indie brand and this is called the St German Wrap Dress um, really lovely wrap dress, v-neck uh, detail, has buttons that fasten down one side um, yeah, and like a flared um, skirt, really really lovely but any, any wrap dress will be gorgeous for that, for that fabric the next uh, print we have, this is called Daisy Dream and this is such a gorgeous floral. I think the colours in this are just, oh this is stunning, isn't that lovely? So this is, I'd describe this as like a mid-scale print, it's definitely not as large as like the, the um, Falling Blossom print we just looked at, but it's not as small a scale as like the Ditsy print that we, we looked at at first. So somewhere in the middle and again it has this deep blue background, really rich blue colour this one and then the colours in the print itself, so we have like a mustard, a royal blue, a, a, a light turquoise, a cream, really really beautiful colour palette and there's just something about the scale and the colours in this print that I, th I, think it, it's, I think it's absolutely stunning, really really pretty. So the, fa the pattern I've chosen for this one, so I wanted to, to include another trousy pattern because I know in previous videos where I've been showing you um, our exclusive Visco Shelly fabrics, I've not inclu actually included that many trousy patterns, so I thought I'd include a couple today. So this one is the McCall's 8223, and this is a really wide leg, full leg um, trousy pattern. It actually has like, um, it looks like a, like a Gordier panel in the fronts. Um, of the trouser and prop and uh, yeah and in the back as well so that's what really creates the fullness uh, it has a waistband detail with a button fastening um, I think it's a button fastening anyway it might, sorry it might be a zip fastening on there um, but yeah just it's it's all about the drama of the wide legs on this pattern I think it's amazing and for, because of that all that fullness you absolutely want a fabric that has lots of drape for this pattern so our visco chalet is perfect now I think because there's so many seams and panels in these trousers, you definitely want something that, in my opinion anyway, that doesn't want, need pattern matching. So yeah, this last, this last print uh, would, yeah, would just be lovely for them. And I think with a dark background as well, that'd be lovely for trousers. And then the top that you wear it with, you know, you could pink, like the, pick the mustard or the turquoise or the royal blue out of the print, or the navy or the cream. Uh, and yeah, I think that'd make a lovely outfit. The next print we've got is called Spring Cascade. And this is like a work of art on fabric. It really is like bringing an artist's you know, vision to life on, on fabric is this one. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? So you can really see like, the, it is just like a painting is this on fabric. You can see the brush strokes, you can, there's so many different shades um, of, of you know, different colors and tones in there. It's really, really beautiful. I, I think it's, I think it's such a, a quite a sophisticated, just a stunning print this one. I think it's really lovely. It's got lots of green in there, but other colours as well, like these sort of rusts and gingers, mustards, uh, even like a hint of like mauvey lilac and, and blues. Really, really beautiful. I think that's a print, it's lovely for spring and summer, but I think I really do think that's a good one to take you throughout the whole year. And then the pattern I've chosen for that one, so this is a really popular pattern in the Minerva sewing community. So this is by Sew Me Something, another indie brand, and this is the Angelica dress. So it's a relatively new pattern, it's one of the later releases. So this has like quite a wide um, neck um, opening. It has a, a simple sleeve, uh, like a, a plain sleeve, or it has a, a sleeve that's got a little puff detail that comes in on a band. And then the skirt itself um, is um, made of two tiers, and both those tiers are gathered in onto the, the you know, into that seam. So, um, yeah, I mean, tiered dresses are just so popular at the moment. And yeah, this one has um, bust shaping, sorry, a dart for bust uh, shaping at the bust, uh, and it has a button up fastening at the back as well. So, some really lovely pattern details on that. And I think, again, you know, this is another print, again, that doesn't need pattern matching. Um, so the fact that the, that the print is broke up quite a bit in those tiers in this, in this pattern um, would work really well in this fabric. 
So the next print we've got is called Wild Strata and this is an animal print design and again I think it's the colours in this that make it super special and it almost has like a, a textured looking kind of background. So if you can see it has, it has these like textured almost stripes, they're not technically stripes but they do run down the length of the fabric and they almost look like you know a really kind of like rough brush stroke if that makes sense in different colours so there's greys and teals and blues like knit and navies a little bit of turquoise and a little bit of burnt orange and like a rusty brown colour so that all works in the background oh and there's white in there as well and then over the top of that you've got this animal print design that's printed in black over the top so it's, I think it's quite a subtle animal print because of all that background like texture you don't, you don't necessarily see the animal, animal print straight away until you properly look at the fabric and yeah, I just think it's such a stunning print and this sort of like almost like a stripe effect I think you could use in your pattern so you know it could either run down the length of your body or you know if you cut it the other way it, the, the stripe effect could run across or you know you could choose a pattern that, that you know used both so part of it you know went across and part of it went down you know you could just have some real fun with pattern placement with this one I think so the pattern I've chose, I kind of, you know, was inspired by that idea and I've chose the Pauline dress by Closet Core Patterns. So this dress has a square neckline, um, pleated to the details that go into like a curved seam um, um, below the, the bust, like on the waist area. Um, you have an option for a big sleeve that draws in on elastic or sleeveless. And then the skirt, um, so there's a seam, like I say, at like the waist detail, or just under the bust, and you have um, like a, a knee length sort of option that's just a plain skirt, or you have an option that's got two panels. So it's got a flat um, sort of panel that goes into the waist, and then onto that flat panel it has um, another panel that is gathered. So it's like a frill detail at the bottom. Now, whichever view you were, you were using, I think you could choose for the stripe to go all downwards or all sideways, or you could you know, pick each different section and maybe have them go in different ways. That could look good as well. Uh, but yeah, really lovely dress for, for summer, this one. But I think um, you, know, you, could, you could absolutely wear this throughout the year. Another lovely detail, actually, I forgot to mention, it is, is it has a cutout detail on the back. Um, yeah, and you know, cut-out trend is just everywhere at the moment, isn't it? And we've, we've all been talking about it a lot here at Minerva, you know, since it was on the first episode of the Sewing Bee this year. Um, so yeah, lovely that it has that little detail in there too. So the next fabric we've got, so this one is a much darker print. So this one is called Cave Print Connections. And um, yeah, this print, so it has a black background and then it has these beautiful, like, mark-making textures almost really really love it and absolutely again this wouldn't need pattern matching at all it's very very abstract and sort of all over the print but it just like if you if you've ever sort of um you know if you've ever done any like drawing or you know mark making anything like that i think you'll really appreciate this print all the different types of marks that have gone into you know making this print from you know the original drawing by the original artist it's absolutely come through in the print beautifully and it's a very paired back toned down colour palette um, you know like I said it's a black background and then the colours in the print are whites, creams, beiges, pale greys so very subtle colours uh, and it's all about the print with this one as opposed to the colour palette I think and yeah I just think it's really really beautiful and absolutely a print that you could wear all year round so the pattern I've chose for this one is the Annie dress by Tasuti Patterns um, and this is a really lovely dress pattern. So it, again it has a square neckline quite similar to the last one. It's sleeveless um, and it just has a beautiful, uh, it just has a beautiful shape does this one. So it's a little bit of fullness and it has pockets and I just think in a viscose shelly fabric like this it's going to hang really well. It'd be lovely to wear in summer but I, you know I think you could stretch this you know wear it with a cardigan maybe with tights and boots when it's getting a little bit colder you know get lots of wear in it wear from it throughout the year so the next print and um, so this one is a graphic geometry and this is a really fabulous very like angular straight lines lots of you know bold sort of uh, shapes 
uh, in this print. And the colour palette, again, we're going a little bit darker than some of the earlier ones here, um, but it has a really muted uh, sort of colour palette, but still has, you know, still has a real character with the colours, I think. All these mauves and purples and plummy colours next to bottle greens, forest greens, sage greens. Uh, it has like a rose pink in there, a, a royal blue and a lighter blue. It's such an unusual colour palette and it just works so well and I just I love these angular shapes in this print. I think it's it's quite different to any other print we've launched so far in the Minerva exclusive collection and that's really kind of why we fell in love with it really that it's just it's something so different and um, yeah again I think it's a print that would absolutely take you through all year with that one. So the pattern I've chose for this one, and this is actually the, the very, very new patterns on the site. So Atelier Brunette have actually launched a collection of sewing patterns now. I think there's currently seven in the collection. And I just thought this would be gorgeous for this fabric. I love this, this, this um, pairing. So this is the uh, Le, Le Chemisette, I hope I'm saying that correctly, but it's basically a shirt pattern. Um, so there's two different views on the pattern. Um, they both have um, a collar detail, a patch pocket on the front, um, just four buttons closing at the front, and then there's different sleeve options. So there's just um, like a simple plain sleeve that's a little bit longer, or there's one with um, a turn up cuff detail. And yeah, it's a really stylish shirt and it has like um, quite a retro cut or like quite a, a straight sort of like boyish kind of fit. Really, really lovely. And I think because of that squareness of the, of the pattern style, for me that really kind of suits the angular and straight lines in this print. I think it would work really well. And even though, you know, this is, um, you know, a, a, a geometric kind of print, I don't think you need to worry about pattern matching with it because it is still very kind of like over all over. Uh, I mean, maybe if you wanted to across the front, um, but honestly, if I was doing this, I wouldn't be pattern matching this fabric. I would just be making sure that you know, like those, where the you know down the front um, and you know at certain seam lines that you you know you're echoing the lines in the print, so you're following those lines. And yeah, I just think that would be absolutely fabulous. I really hope someone makes that that uh, combination. Uh, next up, so this is our second to last print now, and this one is called Meadow Medley, and this is such a beautiful print. I can hold this out. Here we are. It's, it's ever so pretty. It, to me, this has a bit of um, a vintage vibe to it. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? It's a really soft, um, almost like a fern green, I would maybe call this and that beautiful white floral print that just pops against that green background. So it's quite a simple print in lots of ways, but just so wearable, I think. Again, another one you could wear all year round. This would be equally lovely in summer as it would in winter. Um, yeah, and it's just absolutely, again, you don't need to worry about pattern matching on this one. So you just, you know, place the pattern pieces as they fall. Don't need to worry about that. And yeah, just such a wearable print for your wardrobe. I think it's so pretty. And the pattern I've chosen for that one, because I, 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 I love vintage style patterns, so, and, and there's something about that print that, you know, yes, it could be made in a really modern style, but I think it would really suit a vintage style as well. Something about it to me that lends itself really well to vintage styles. So I've picked out a pattern from Now and Then Patterns, which is uh, an indie pattern company that we stock here at Minerva um, that focus on uh, uh, vintage styles. And the pattern I've chose is the Amelie Tuck Blouse. And this, oh, this, this blouse is just, if you love vintage styles with that have lots of details, I think you'll love this. So there's two different views. Both of them are a button-up blouse and there's two different colour options. So there's a quite a simple like pointed collar or there's one that has where the, each collar piece has like two points on the collar. Really, really fabulous. Then there's a sleeveless option or an option that has sleeves that has like a, um, like a pleat detail in the sleeve that sort of uh, joins up as it goes up the sleeve there. Really, really lovely. And then it has um, uh, pleat details around the waist area, which is what creates the shape and draws it in at the waist. 
just gorgeous and uh, yeah I think in that fabric that could be really really special again you know you wouldn't need to it's a nice scale I think for a blouse that one for a blouse like this anyway that has lots of details um, and yeah because you wouldn't need to worry about pattern matching you know where those pleats are it's not going to like distort the print in a way that's going to spoil it or anything so yeah it's just a beautiful combination that I think and then the last print we're launching today, so that's the one on the dress form that we've got in the background here. So this is our um, tabula, tabula Rose print. And isn't that just the most pretty, girly, feminine, like romantic sort of print ever? I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so again, this one does have a direction, does this print? So you can see all the flowers sort of like work up the design here. And it has like a, a stony pale grey sort of background. Um, and then these like peach and raspberry and um, sky blue flowers on there. It's just, oh, it's so beautiful, so pretty, I think. Absolutely gorgeous for spring and summer. Yeah, it's a, a, another of my favourites, that one. And then the fabric, uh, so the pattern I've chose for this. So with this one, I've gone with the Friday Pattern Company, the Saltwater Slip. So I think if you're looking for a slip dress pattern, um, this is a really good option and so many people have made it in the Minerva community. Uh, it's a really popular one uh, and it's designed, it's like for a confident beginner so you know if you're new to sewing this could be a nice easy pattern to, to tackle and yeah it's just a really simple slip dress. Um, it has the option for a tie at the back, uh, there's two different lengths, you can have a split in, in, in them as well and just yeah very thin straps, a very very simple slip dress and yeah I think to showcase a beautiful print like that, just such a simple pattern would, 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 would look absolutely wonderful. So that's all the 10 new prints that we're launching today. So I hope you found that inspiring. Uh, I hope you know you enjoyed taking a look through all the new prints with me. Um, I, I mean, I absolutely, obviously, I'm um, you know involved in the in the production process and choosing all the prints that we launch in our Minerva exclusive fabrics. Um, you know, these fabrics are like my babies. So you know, I absolutely love them, and I hope you guys do too. Please do let me know in the comments below which was your favourite print from the new collection. Uh, let me know what your favourite pattern suggestion was as well like I said so many will work across all the different fabrics um, and let me know what, what your favourite pairing was in the comments below I'd love to know which were your favourites um, as always I will tag everything below this video so all the patterns and all the fabrics mentioned today so you can click on any of those links and that will take you to you know pricing details, sizing details on the patterns and of course the great thing on the Minerva website is that you can see uh, what other people have made with these fabrics and patterns. Obviously the fabrics are brand new so check out you know over the next uh, few weeks as those makes get um, started to be shared on the website. We always absolutely you know it's just so so it's so much fun to see what you guys are making our fabrics and you know if you haven't joined the Minerva community yet please do join us it's completely free to join and you know you can follow your favourite makers on there you can save all your favourites so you know if you see something that you think oh I'd love to make something like that you can just save it and then you can come back to it later um, you know just keep like a board of, of inspiration posts um, and you know of course you know you can share your works in progress or share your finished makes with us you can plan your projects on there uh, you know you can, you can use the site in any way you wish just to get involved with the sewing community and it's such a welcoming friendly you know inspiring place to be on the internet so we'd love to welcome you if you haven't already joined us there um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, I certainly did. And I'll be back again soon with more sewing and fabric buttons.